Hi guys, today I'll be explaining two types of strikes in our system, the pitik and the lampas. And later on you will understand what these numbers meant, 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, and 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3. With the pitik strike, it's basically like this. You strike a target and then you retract. Strike a target and then you retract. You don't go full swing. It's just a snapping motion. So if I do number one, it goes back to the original position. This is my original position. And then when I hit the target, it goes back to the original position. Same thing when I do a different angle or different target. Number two goes back. So when I'm facing you, it, it looks like this. One, two, three, four. Now that's the pitik. The lampas is, is a strike that is a full swing. So when I do a lampas, it's like this. You hit the target and then you follow through. So when I do angle number one, it's like that. Number two, three, two, four, three. So again, the lampas is just a full swing strike. Let me explain to you what these numbers meant. These are a series of numbers based on the polygonal targeting system at the tetragon level. These numbers actually provide instructions on how you're going to perform your strikes. Let me show that. We're going to perform 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2. And this is how it's done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2. If you notice, I did two strikes at number 2 and two strikes at number 3. The reason for that is because we have two types of positions. The closed position and the open position. When you're doing a closed position, your stick is on the left side of your body and your stick is on the right side of your body when you're doing an open position. So every strike here is unique based on how you perform it, based on your position. For example, I can do number two at the closed position. This is number two. I can also do number two at the open position. Same thing goes with number three. I can do it uh, in the closed position and same thing in the open position. So that's why we have two strikes for number two and for number three with this drill for the pit. Now let me show you lampas. We're going to do one, two, three, two, four, three. This is one, two, three, two, four, three. So the reason why it's one, two, three, and then two, four, three is because I need to show this to you so you will understand. When I do number two, uh, when I do number one, it goes to the open position, and then this is number two, open again, and then number three. Now, when I do number three after that, I cannot do number four. So that's why I have to go to number two again. And then I can do number four, and then number three. But we didn't do number two just because we want to do number four. All of these strikes are actually unique in its ways, based on the close and open position. We, we also have two strikes at number two, and two strikes at number three. So when I do number two, like this is one, and then number two, it came from the open position. So one, open, and then number two. So when it's time to do number two again, one, two, three, after number three, we are already at the closed position. And then when we do number two, it's coming from the closed position. So that's two different strikes. One that's coming from the closed position and one that is coming from the open position. That's number two. When we do number three, it's the same thing. This is one, two, this is the first number three coming from the open position, and then 
two, four. The second three is coming from the post position. So those are two different, two different ways of doing number three, from the close position and the open position. I hope you're not confused. You can do a lot of combinations. And you can do them using the polygonal targeting system. I'll give you an example. So if we are going to mix the pitik and the lampas strikes, we can do uh, pitik and then lampas. We can do one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. It's pitik lampas. So pitik one and lampas. When we do number, when we do two two, it's pitik number two pitik and then lampas. Number three pitik and then lampas. Number two pitik and then lampas. Four pitik and lampas. Three pitik and then lampas. And we can do the same series of numbers one two three two four three. Uh, when you perform a petit lampas, it's like this. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 2, 4, 4, 3, 3. So these are the numbers that you can perform. But with the same sequence, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 3. Let me show that to you. So petit, pas, that's 1. And then number 2, petit, lampas. Number three, pitik, lampas, two, four, three, again, so that's how you do it, a pitik, lampas. The next level would be three strikes. It can be pitik, lampas, and then another pitik. So let me show that to you this is pitik, lampas, and then pitik so how are we going to do that? it's one one and then three so that's one one, one, three and then two, two, four and then three, three, one, and then four, four, two. But the sequence is going to be one, two, three, two, four, three. Let me show you what that means. Okay, this is pitik, lampas, pitik. Side view first. Pitik, lampas, pitik. That's one, one, three. And the next one would be two, two, four. So coming from the, from the open position, that's two, two, four. Two, two, four. That's pitik, lampas, pitik. Three, three, one, that would be three, three, and then one. And then four, four, two. Of course, we cannot do four, four, two from the closed position. That's why the sequence would be one, two, three, two, four, three. So it's going, we, we're going to do number two first. Two, two, four. And then we're going to do four, four, two. And then three, three, one. So the sequence for pitik lampas pitik is again one, two, three, two, four, three. Let me show you again pitik lampas pitik. So this is how it's done. One. Two, three, two, four, three. So that's one, two, three, two, four, three. You can just review the video so you will understand how I did this. It's confusing at first, but you will when you understand what the polygonal targeting system teaches you that it will be easier for you to do these techniques. Okay, I hope you understood something today.
See you at the next video.